Hey, Shalom, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out. Prophesy the downfall is with the kingdom of America, aka Babylon. First and foremost, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushua, Ba'ashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect, the elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so called Negroes. Benjamin of so-called West Indian Jamaicans, Levi of the so-called Haitians, Reuben of the Seminole Indians, Gad of the North American Indians, Issachar of the so-called Mexicans, uh, Zebulon of Guatemala, of Panama, we have Manasseh of the so-called Cubans, uh, Simeon of the so-called Dominicans, Ephraim of the Puerto Ricans, Ashes, Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali is Argentina to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem one third of the elect, and two thirds are set up for the destruction. Y'all notice when I uh, when I go through the tribes, right? To, to remember the way I remember them, y'all probably can do the same. I always do the Southern Kingdom first. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi first. It's like when you see the sign, when you see the sign, it's uh, see how it goes to Ephraim and Gad. What I do is, when I go through it, it's probably like, when I go through it, I do Benjamin, the Southern King the first, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Then, I put in my mind the map of North America. Reuben was the tribe that was down in Florida. So I go Reuben, then Gad was the rest of the tribes in North America, so I go through, I go through America. Then I go down into Mexico, I say Issachar, then I come across Central America, Zebulon, and I come across, because you got uh, Simeon, it's, it's the Dominican Republic, you got uh, Cuba, and, and Cuba, Puerto Rico. So I, I come across, like, I go up, and then I come down in my head, and then I go to South America, uh, Africa, uh, Valley, uh, Valley, that's how I remember. Okay, that's that's Israel. That's not talking about the whole world. 
okay? Because when you go into that word, it's the Greek 2889, which is cosmos, which is an oily arrangement, okay? Governed by the law, statutes, and commandments, which the commandments was given unto the nation of Israel when you read in uh, Leviticus 26, chapter 46, verse. These law, statutes, and commandments were given to the children of Israel, okay? So that salvation is for, for Israel. And it tells you in, in many scriptures, man, you go into the, uh, uh, Joel, let me get some of the uh, Psalms. Psalms, I think it's, uh, we got that one, we got nine. Psalms nine and uh, 14. That I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. See, the daughter of Zion, this is Israelites. Okay? It's talking about Israel because uh, Jeremiah 62 said, We are like unto a calmly, uh, a, a delicate woman unto you, how about Shemel So that, 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 that daughter, that's the Israelites, man. Okay? And the more the elect men. Because we are that virgin, that chaste virgin spoken of in second. Uh, uh, Corinthians 11 chapter, right? That's that's waiting for you on the return of your house shot, man. It says that I will show forth all my praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. When you go into salvation, that salvation that's in Romans, the 13th chapter, that, that, that Greek word is soteria, meaning what? The deliverance from our enemy, okay? It's the deliverance from your enemy. Uh, let's see here. Mm, the, Luke, the first chapter. Go to Luke one. Let me know y'all get here. Got it. Got it. Go ahead, read it. Luke 68, start right there. You got it. Go ahead. For, for as much as Luke, Luke 1 and 68. 68. Okay. Um, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, Blessed be the Lord power of Israel. Okay, didn't say any other nation. That word blessed means favor, okay? Mercy gonna be shown on Israel. It's gonna be favor shown to the nation of Israel. To the Negro, Latinos, and the Native Americans. Like I said, I always say, on this side, it's gonna be the elect men, okay? Not gonna be everybody. Cause it tells you in Zechariah 13 and 8, that what? Two thirds gonna be, gotta, gotta die. One third gonna be left there in it, okay? Go ahead. For he had visited and redeemed his people. He had visited and redeemed his people, man. Uh, okay. He had visited. Y'all could have come to the village. Redeemed his people. Okay. His people. It said his people, man. It, it didn't say everybody, okay? That's the key part. You're not talking about everybody. What, what's contrary to popular belief, these people think that, uh, the Lord, anybody just say, oh, give me, uh, what they say, Jesus, it's it gonna be, they gonna make it. It's not like that. Okay. They say his people. Okay, we in, uh, um, uh, um, Luke. I'm gonna look up that one word in there. We in Luke 1 and 6 8. Redeemed, right? Goes to the Greek 3085. Lutrosis. Lutrosis. Choices. A ransom, a redemption, a deliverance, especially from the penalty of sin. So he said, read that again. This is Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visit and redeemed his people. He had redeemed his people, man. He had ransomed them with what? His life. Right? The shedding of his blood was buying us back. You know? Buying us back, man. Deliver us from what? That sin. When he come back, the elect are gonna be what? You're gonna you're gonna basically uh uh uh, uh you're gonna get the victory over death. It was spoken of in 1 Corinthians the 15th chapter at the end. 
you're gonna get that victory from death um, when, when you have a shot come back, okay? It goes into deliverance, man. Mm -hmm. Right? The deliverance from our enemies. Because we're in captivity as we speak. Okay? We, we're in the last captivity. Okay? We've been through multiple captivities. Through uh, Egyptian captivity. Then the Assyrians. Uh, uh, the Babylonian captivity. The Persian. Media and Persian Empire. The Greeks. The Romans. And then we, we took down the Romans uh, in uh, 193. And then what they call the Dark Ages, we ruled. But then the Lord brought, let Esau come back to build a desolate places in the time of what's called a Renaissance period. Okay? And, and doing that, he's, he's been ruling for uh, something like 579, 80 years now. Okay? But this is the last hoorah for Esau. This is it. Okay? This is the last, this is your last run, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Got one, or I don't know how you get something in the pocket for it. Oh, okay. His yeah, second Ezra's. I said it's his last run. His second Ezra. Six. Start at seven. You got what you got. Go ahead. Chapter six. Yeah. Second Ezra, chapter six. Start at seven. And you got you got that loop, but stay right there. Come back to that. Right there. This is the book. The second Ezra, chapter six. Verse 7, mm -hmm. and it says, Then answered I, mm -hmm. and said, What shall be the parting asunder mm -hmm. of the times? So what's going to be the parting of, of the asunder of the times, okay? Or then shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it. What's going to be the end of the first and the beginning of that which follow it? Okay, it says what's going to be the end of the first because guess why it says that? Because Esau was the firstborn. Right. See? It said what's gonna be the end of the first and him that followed after. Because him that followed after is gonna be the kingdom of heaven that's forever. That's how you how will buy set it up. He read. And he shall <coughs> and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, mm -hmm. Jacob's hand held first. The heel of Esau. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Symbolizing what? He was going to bring him down. And we're bringing him down in this particular time right now by reading the scriptures. Okay? This is how we're bringing him down. But Yahweh Shah going to bring him down with a physical a physical uh, 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 beat down. When the chariots come back. And then thermonuclear destruction. Okay? It's going to be, it's going to get real physical. Okay? Go ahead. For Esau is the end of the world. See, Esau, Ishashua, right? The, 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 the Hebrew name Esau, the, uh, the script, Ishashua, and Esau is the biblical name, but he is who? The so called white man who you see today, because he is the one in Genesis 25 that came out red all over like a hairy garment. Uh -huh. For Esau is the end of the world, mm -hmm. and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So Jacob's going to be the beginning of what follows. So when Esau is taken down through this thermonuclear destruction, Jacob has to take over. So that cuts all you people who be talking about, uh, well, when Esau done, China going to take over, because they got the more people in it right now. China not going to take over. But if they take over, then that means you're going you're gonna to be under their philosophy. You're going to be worshiping Buddha. Gonna be eating raw rats and raw babies and all that, y'all that raw bat. Yeah, you're gonna be eating all that shit. So, no, they're not gonna take over the nation of Israel. It says it's gonna be next, man. Okay, that's it on that. Go back to there. This is Luke 1 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Okay, he has visited and redeemed his people, right? Bought them back with ransom, right? De delivering them, you know, deliver them from the enemies. Go ahead. All the way down to the yeah, read. And have raised up horn of salvation for horn us. Horn of salvation. So horn is going into power. We know what salvation is, right? Deliverance from our enemies. Okay, go ahead. For us in the house of his servant David, yeah. as he spoke, I mean, spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. He spake his speech by the mouth of his holy prophet, right? How do we know that? How do you know it's speaking 
by the promise. Got one, uh, yeah. How do you know he's speaking by the mouth of the holy promise? Give me a scripture. Oh, 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 oh. Read it. Oh, read, you can read that again, but you got time. As he spake by the mouth. Started over. Oh, it's like this Luke 1 and 69. And have raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of, of his servant David. Mm -hmm. as, uh, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. So he revealed his secrets unto who? Service the prophets. God. Right? Amos 3 to 7. That's it. Okay. I want you to think about it. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been sent since the world began. Since the world began. So he spoke through who? He spoke through Adam, right? He was a righteous man. Then that time of Noah came, he spoke through Noah. Noah spoke through the, to the people, okay? About about the destruction. Did they take heed? No. Then the ark doors were closed, and then what? The rain came. Then they then they cried to Moses, open up the door. All right. He spoke. He spoke through uh, 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 Samuel. He spoke through Isaiah. He spoke through Moses, Aaron, uh, 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 King Solomon, David. David was a prophet. Spoke through David. Um, Spoke through uh, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, okay, uh, all of Micah, Habakkuk, uh, Haggai. We spoke through all of them. Okay. This is the book of Amos, chapter three, verse seven, and it says, "Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but He revealeth His servants." His secrets, so like he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophet. Then when you go into reveal it, it goes into to make something known, or man make something manifest to be known. Okay, the secrets are the secrets of this doctrine. Uh -huh. You know, the, these prophecies. He makes them known to us, man. Uh -huh. And we come out here and we speak. Okay, we speak and warn. So it's a warning we putting out. Got it. Got it. Get it. I'm out here warning, warning you people, man. Uh, you know, that these prophecies are going to happen. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The lion has roared, who will not fear? So in the jungle, hear the lion roar, and all the animals, they tense up. Because they know that they they, they about to get devoured. You know? It's a possibility. Uh, so they on high alert. Right? So, the Lord is speaking through the men. This is like this is a roaring going on, like a lion roaring in the jungle. Uh -huh. Everybody needs to be taking heed, especially the men of Israel, that you don't be devoured by thermonuclear destruction, man. Right? The ICBM intercontinental ballistic missile. This sign here, so you can see right here. Okay. You don't want to be this. You don't want to be devoured by this. Man. Holding up weights right now. You don't want to be devoured by this thermonuclear destruction. So you gotta take heed to, to the warning. Huh. The Lord Yahweh has spoken. Who can put prophecy? Salaki. So like the Lord Yahweh has spoken. Who can put who can but prophecy? Prophesy. Prophesy. Yeah, who yes. can but prophesy, man? And that's what we are here doing. Okay? Prophesying to trying to wake up, help wake up the elect men, okay, of the of the nation of Israel. Everybody else, man, it don't even matter, man. We out here to tell you your your uh, uh, your judgments, you know, and what's going to come when you in the kingdom. All right, but what you got? This is Ezekiel three seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house. The house of Israel. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay. Now, when you look at a watchman, the water. A watchman, what does a watchman do? He sits on a tower, right? And he watches for the enemy. So we on a, this is the tower right now. Okay. This is a tower right now that we're on. Okay. 
waiting on the Lord, man. You get Habakkuk 2, number 1. We're waiting on your Habakkuk, like you said, for him to what? Come deliver us and give us the salvation. 